Hello, Classy Cougar parents. Miss Shimizu here. I have a question for you. Do your children fight with each other? I bet you answered, yes, duh. Disagreeing, arguing, shouting, slamming doors. This can really start to wear you thin after a while, right? It might even cause you to flip your lid. You just want them to stop fighting and get along. I can't tell you how many times I have felt this way in my own classroom. It is very typical of, a third, of third grade students to become like siblings by the end of the year. And there's a lot of fighting that happens because of that. So I can only imagine what you might be feeling right now. Before we start, let's take a moment to name that feeling. How does the fighting between your children make you feel? It's okay to feel that way. Let's take a moment, focus on our own lids, and breathe. Okay, today we're going to talk about sibling conflict, and I'm going to give you some strategies that you can try right away. First, let's talk about the life skills that your children are learning when they're fighting with each other. I know. You might be thinking, life skills? What? Fighting is not how we handle life. And you're right. But where did you learn that lesson? Most likely you learned it with your siblings. Or if you're an only child like me, you learned it in conflict with close family members and friends. Here are some skills that children learn when in conflict with each other. Children learn cooperation, problem solving skills, calm down strategies, noticing their own feelings, self-confidence, speaking up for themselves, how to disagree respectfully, taking ownership, giving a meaning meaningful apology, fixing their mistakes, accepting other points of view, boundaries, and finding solutions. So if they are learning so many skills while they are fighting, what can we do as adults to support this skill building without getting frustrated by the situation? We call these the four Bs of sibling conflict. These are four strategies that you can use at home that suggest the parent take a step back and allow the children to fight. I know. You can't handle any more fighting. These strategies are created to help you survive the fighting while allowing your children to do that important skill building and grow into those independent problem solvers. The first strategy is called bear it. And as you might have guessed, this one means that you are going to breathe through the fighting and bear it. Let's watch Miss May and her children show us how it's done. Do you see how she didn't engage in the fighting? She just sat there. The next strategy is called beat it. And this means that you will allow the fighting to continue and you will silently walk away. Let's see how Miss May beats it. Wow, I'm noticing that these strategies really require not engaging in the fight. The third strategy is called boot them out. And this means that you are going to allow the arguing to continue, but you are going to ask them to take it somewhere else, like outside or to another room. Let's watch Miss May demonstrate boot them out. Take it out front, take it out back, go. 
figure it out out there. Things like not engaging in the fight is helping Miss May stay calm. The last strategy is called build it, and this strategy is different because you use this strategy when your children are not fighting. When siblings are not fighting, you can help them develop the skills that they can use during conflict. Problem solving skills, how to listen, when to walk away, how to ask for and give meaningful apologies, how to accept different points of view, how to stop when the person says stop or that no means no. Let's watch Miss May help her children build their skills. It looks like she's trying to do homework, you're trying to do something else, this isn't working because I'm trying to work also, so how about you separate and we can come back when you guys are calm and ready to talk about the situation. Did you see how Miss May provided an example of when to leave a fight? Later, she went back and gave her children an opportunity to practice leaving a fight when they were able to access their best selves. It's important to know that not all of these strategies will work for you. I know in the classroom, I find it hard to bear it without getting involved, so I don't use that one. I encourage you to try one or more of these strategies this week when your children are fighting. I want to leave you with a few final tips. First, the fight should only continue if it is physically safe. I am not suggesting that you allow your children to beat up on each other without getting involved. Second, there will be times when you have to get involved in the fight. When you do, I encourage you to try and treat all children the same to avoid a victim bully situation. Third, it's important to take care of yourself during the fighting. Remember to use your own calm down strategies when you feel like your lid is starting to flip. And the last tip is, you've got this. Parenting is hard and you do it every single day. Even when your children are fighting, you can help them grow into the capable, independent individuals that you want them to be. Until next time.